I'm going to show you how to inexpensively mount a microscope optical to a camera. You will need a T-mount adapter for your camera. I use Pentax cameras, so this is a T-mount to Pentax K-mount. You will also need a short length of PVC pipe. This is one and a half inch PVC. It's very important that it's one and a half inch because this actually fits right into a T-mount. You will also need a saw, a box cutter, or other knife, a small screwdriver, and this is used for operating the screws used to attach the T-mount adapter to the T-mount that we are going to create out of the PVC. A PVC end cap. I've already cut a hole in this one, but I will be explaining that. You will also need a PVC end cap. I've already cut a hole in this one, but I will be explaining that. You will also need a microscope optical mount. This allows for the quick and easy removal of the actual microscope opticals. A set of drill bits and possibly an auger. And finally, a microscope optical. We are going to begin by cutting the short length of pipe into an even shorter length of pipe. The important thing is to make sure that at least one end is flat because this is going to be mounting into the T-mount itself and there's not a whole lot of room for having a rough edge like you would on the cap end. You can do this in a couple ways. You can do this in a couple ways. Hopefully you have a new piece of pipe and the factory has already cut a flat end on one end. However, if you don't, you can take the piece of pipe and put the end cap on and then with a pencil write a line all the way around, take the cap off, and then just cut along the line the entire circumference of the pipe. That should give you a straight enough edge. In fact, that's what I did on this one. Now the difficult part. We need to cut a hole inside this cap. The best way to do this is to drill a small pilot hole with one of the small drill bits. And then enlarge the hole. You may have an auger that can significantly enlarge the hole. The problem that I ran into is that my auger is still too small for the hole. So, so I drill the hole as large as I could, and then I take the saw and just score around the edge of the hole to slowly enlarge it. It's tedious. It is important to make sure that the hole stays fairly centered and as round as you can possibly keep it. When that is complete, simply take the, take the box cutter and clean off any plastic burrs that you may have in any of the pipes. You don't want any frayed PVC bits. It'll be fairly obvious if you've ever cut PVC. And then that's pretty much it. All, all that needs to be done is assembly. We're going to begin by putting the microscope mount into the hole. Mine comes with a washer. We're going to place that in and then the washer attaches inside. One thing to keep in mind, depending on your PVC end cap, mine was originally too thick for this nut to fit on the thread. To correct that, I laid down a piece of sandpaper and then just sanded it uh, flat. It worked pretty well and was fairly quick. Okay, so the microscope mount is attached to the PVC end cap. 
And then we place the PVC end cap on our short length of pipe. Believe it or not, this is done. <laughs> That's it. We can take our T-mount, put the PVC pipe on the T-mount, tighten the screws, they're actually mounted into the PVC. And then all you have to do is put your microscope optical in the mount. There you have it, an inexpensive and fairly accessible method to mount microscope opticals to your camera. Typically, I would show the finished product attached to the camera, but my the DSLR is currently doing a time lapse for the next week or so. One accessory that might come in useful that you may already have if you're into macro photography is a macro bellows system. This is the Pentax system and now that we already have the microscope optical mounted to a T-mount adapter that fits Pentax K-mounts, all I have to do is line up the orange dots and mount it. This is very useful because the optical is going to project an image to the back of the camera. And if the camera moves further away from the optical, the image actually enlarges. So this allows you to take a low power optical and zoom in on whatever it is that you're trying to get a, a micro photograph of. This can get very close on things. This is a 20x optical, and uh, if I point it at a computer screen, using this type of system allows you to adjust the magnification on your image without having to change the optical. So if you have a 4x optical and a 10x optical, you can mount the 4x and get pretty close to every range in between it and a 10x optical. This allows greater flexibility in your optics and more creative control over your image. I hope you find this tutorial useful. You can find more at track100.com and you can see some of my work at samjaver.com.